Welcome back to Conan Goblin and welcome back to another video of my face. Me and you are like-minded. I know that. And that means you are also interested in making money from web development and making money from websites and just making money doing things on the internet in general. Not in a weird way. So based on that, I just wanted to talk to you about something that I've been thinking about recently and something that I think is really impressive and I think you will too. So Tailwind, right? We all know Tailwind. We all love Tailwind. That's a fact. Everyone does. No one has ever not liked Tailwind. They did a survey. So Tailwind, amazing service, right? CSS framework, utility library, whatever you want to call it. It's amazing. It is really good in my opinion. Now I know everyone doesn't actually love Tailwind. A lot of people don't love Tailwind, but so many people do. That's the point. So many people do that. It's actually become basically <laughs> a part of the internet in terms of you will see it so regularly that it's, it's like, it is CSS almost to a point. Like think of the percentage. There's actually like probably a big chunk of web developers like percentage wise that rely on it for every single project that's massive so it's powering a massive portion of the internet which is just ridiculous everyone's heard of it if you're a web developer you have heard of tailwind whether you love it or whether you hate it you have heard of it so why is this so impressive because tailwind is actually given away for free it's completely free to use so you might think to yourself, that's weird. It's completely free to use. And why is that a good business decision? Well, it's a good business decision because they also have paid for products or a paid for product. I don't know, they have multiple, but they have one in particular that I talk about a lot and that is Tailwind UI. So that is the component library built using Tailwind. And the reason this is just so genius and so good, it's not an original original concept, by the way, but Tailwind just do it so well, is because they've built up so much trust and goodwill and reliance on Tailwind CSS, the library, that when they come to sell something like Tailwind UI, it's the most easy sell in the world because you already know that Tailwind CSS is incredibly good. You can see how beautiful the components are that they've created. It just makes sense. Like their website, think how much traffic the Tailwind CSS website must get. It must be ridiculous. All they have to do is put a little components <laughs> a menu item and you click on that, you think, oh, components, and it's it takes you to Tailwind UI and it's just, it's just, it's just done so well and it got me thinking how can I replicate that how can I do something similar and it's it is difficult but it's quite simple at the same time and the way you do it is you just do what Alex Hormozy says I do talk about Alex Hormozy quite a lot but you provide free value an insane amount of free value I feel like that's how he'd say it provide an insane amount of free value. I was gonna do a, an American accent then, but I, I stopped. So yeah, you can provide an insane amount of free value. And how do you do that? It's basically by either creating free products or doing what I'm doing right now, creating free YouTube videos or videos on any platform for that matter. And then you build up, build up, build up. You build up a lot of goodwill and trust and all that fun stuff. And then when the time comes, you can offer something to your audience or to your users and it's a way easier sale than if you're just selling to complete strangers. Uh, because they know that what you're offering is gonna be good because you've given them so much good stuff for free. So. You can do this, like I said, with web apps or websites. So if you're building things, I recommend you just build something and put it out there and 
give it away for free and see if you get users, <clears throat> excuse me, because you're gonna be building up that goodwill. And also, on a side note, you're, if, you're, if you are collecting users, not collecting, that sounded weird, a bit creepy. If you are getting users to your services, you're gathering up email addresses so you can, if you, I don't do this by the way, do I do this? I think I've got an opt-in to go on a mailing list on one of my websites, but I, I genuinely, I've never, I've never used an email newsletter or email list, even though everyone keeps on saying how effective it is. Probably should, but you can build that up and market to that. So that's another good way of, uh, a good reason to give away your service for free. I'm not saying you, you have to give it away for free. If you think you can charge for it, then charge for it. It's, a, it's about trial and error. So do what you think, obviously. And you've got, I've, I've learned that you have to take your own path a certain extent of the way. So it's very tempting to, when we want to start a business or start a website or do anything, any sort of venture where we're going to try and make money, if you're anything like me, which you are, because we're very like-minded, then it's tempting to look for advice everywhere. So you'll Google, oh, how do, should I do this or should I do that? Should I give stuff away for free, should I not? You look at videos, you listen to videos, you, you're you in that loop of getting videos, talking about that sort of thing. And you get advice saying all sorts of things. But I've come to realize you have to just go for it and do what you want to do and then learn from that. I'm not saying you have to do everything. You can take people's advice. There are people that are further ahead than you on the journey that you can listen to if you want. But also you don't have to listen to, to them. There are a million ways to do anything. Probably not a million ways, but there's a lot of ways to do different things. So you've got to just do what you think's right and you will learn more effectively from doing it your own way. That's what I found as well. Like there's all this theory about, oh, you know, you should do it. You should, like with YouTube, for example, oh, only upload at this time of day, only, only upload this number of videos. Oh, you need to edit in a certain way. Oh, your thumbnails need to look like this. Your titles need to look, all this stuff. But if you just say to yourself, I, this is how I'm gonna do it. And then you see what feedback you get, what results you get, and then you can adapt. And then you figure out for yourself what works for yourself because we're all different at the end of the day. We all have different ways of doing things. And also you might have a better way of doing things that you're not doing and, and you're not doing it because you've heard from someone like Alex or Mosey or anyone else that, oh, you should be doing it this way. And because they speak with such confidence and they're so established, you think, oh, I should do it that way. And if I don't do it that way, then I won't get good results. But that's not necessarily the case because like I'm saying, you, you can do it your own way and you might actually have better insight into your specific industry. Think about that because you're in that industry or you're in that niche. So you know that, you know that niche. So you might have your own ideas. If something is burning in your head, like a way of doing something, and you think, I just need to do it this way, this, this seems like such a good idea, then just do it. Because the chances are your instincts are probably right. Trust your instincts. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. Tailwind, they do it very, very well. Very well. It's, yeah, it's actually, it's very impressive. Sponsor the channel, no. Anyway, um, yeah, I just want to say that to you. Um, leave a comment below if you can think of any other examples like Tailwind, where they're integrated really well into everything for free. And they're kind of a part of something integral, I would say. Um, and yeah, let me know, because I like to think about that sort of thing and talk about that sort of thing. Also, do all that other YouTube stuff. Like the video, subscribe to the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you very soon at the end.